Welcome back to Hunter's Instinct. Uh, we're going back here to check out the food plot. Tomorrow makes about three weeks since we planted it. I come up here last week and uh, it was already up about two or three inches. So uh, I'm going to go back here and check it out. I think we just jumped up a deer, so that's good that they're staying pretty close to the food plot. Uh, I hope they don't eat it all before it gets up to its full potential to help them out, but there ain't much food back here. Like I said, there's like a, it's surrounded by fields all the way around to this back side over here to the right, so this is gonna probably be their main food source for a while. But uh, we're just walking back here to uh, check everything out, and when we get to the bottom, we'll uh, pull the car and see what's coming in, and hopefully, we can get back here last weekend of August and see if we can't get a big one on the ground during velvet. So we'll check back with you in a few. Okay guys, we're here at the food plot and uh, this is a uh, Foda's beans for deer and it's just been three weeks since we planted it. Check it out. Now y'all seen everything that I've done. I'm not putting no fertilizer or nothing on these. We just had some real good weather come in, some rain and some sunshine. So it's hit the food plot pretty good. I mean, looks like every bean that we had has come up. So I mean, that's a real good thing. Uh, we did make it a little bit bigger this year. But uh, it's turned out real good. Like I said, you know, this, this little stretch of property here is only like a little over 11 acres. But yeah, I mean, it's got uh, another 15 acres to the side and then uh, some more over there. Um, but other people own that property. But if you got like a small acreage of uh, property and then you got real wood cover, back in a little bit of timber property with it or if you don't you know it's no big deal you can just till her up just like I did this and then just come in here clear your property out make sure it's real good and then just plant your beans or we just spread them out and I run over them a little bit with the four wheeler <coughs> and uh, it's turned out real good as you can see so I mean anybody can do it and uh, it's real simple. I got the trophy rock over here, like I said. And then I got my camera right here pointing right in onto the beans. We don't pull that card and uh, we don't check it out when we get home. And uh, if anything's uh, good on or I'll uh, definitely show you this time. I know uh, I've been forgetting to uh, put it on here, but I have been putting some pictures on the Hunter's Instinct group page. So if you ain't found it yet, go look it up on Facebook. Uh, so uh, I we don't check the road out for tracks and stuff and see what we kind of tracks has been walking the roads. I'm not going to go down here yet because, like I said, I don't really want to disturb as much as I have to. I mean, come in here, get the cards. It's kind of already. 75 77 degrees and it's just a little after 10 o'clock but uh it's uh looking real good and uh hopefully we can set up our net blind and i can bring the killer instinct crossbow and stick a muzzy broadhead right in the heart of one and uh be like that big doe just run right over another 20 yards and fall over dead but it's different from shooting a real big buck in a 
pretty good sized doe. Sometimes the buck has just got more up to it and they don't realize the harder they run, the faster they bleed, the quicker they die. So, but I'm gonna pull this card out and uh, we'll take a gander at the row going out and see if we got any tracks in the row since they've been using it. So stick with us, we'll be right back. Well, we got a few small tracks here. That one you can tell is a small fawn. But I don't know, uh, let's walk through here. It's been sometime last week or this week or something like that, probably end of last week. We've had a lot of rain. I got some more cameras I gotta check, but I think I'm gonna wait to the weekend and do it. Probably gonna have to move one or two. I know I'm gonna have to move one to another tree. It was in a pine tree and all that loose sap got around the screw and top of the box just fell right out of the tree when I was taking the lock off the lock box so I'll probably do that this weekend and uh, we've seen a few tracks I think it was coon tracks and had that little bitty deer track in there but we'll get home and uh check the cards or check this card if anything good shows up then uh, I'm going to uh, show it to you on the, the video here and then uh, only thing we can do I got it pretty much set up of how I'm going to have to come in here and get them just get in here when it's really really hot and that way the time I get in there, hopefully all my scent and stuff is gone from sweating back in here to, during the velvet hunt. But hopefully we'll be able to knock a big one down in velvet. And uh, this time I'll get it to a taxidermy pretty quick. That way it won't run on me. So we're starting to see more trails in here than usual. Uh, like I said, when we first come in here, I mean, there was hardly no trails. Deer was just moving and down the roads. And you may see one go over the bank. They was just popping in and out from everywhere. So <coughs> hopefully we can get them set on the one way. And as you can see, you know, I kind of come down through here and trim this out and throw some brush over on the side and up on top to make the views on certain trails that they're used to going on. So uh, we're heading back to the truck. As soon as we get back to the house, we'll put the card in the laptop and we'll go from there. See you here in a few. Well, we're back at the house and uh, I was checking my cards and had uh, one young buck that was on camera and then uh, I don't know how good you can see it, but this guy here, he showed up. As you see, he's got some pretty good bases, and he's starting to split off. So, we're going to keep an eye on him. And uh, probably won't check this camera again until uh, around mid-July, towards the end of July. Maybe around the 1st of August, I'm not for sure. But uh, that's what we've got right now. My uh, battery's dying on the computer, so I gotta get up off here. But uh, if you like what you see, please hit that uh, subscribe, share, and like button. And uh, we'll keep on bringing you uh, more videos on how everything's running. And uh, try to keep bringing you more uh, trail cam picks. And hopefully, uh, everything I'm showing you with the food plot and everything is uh, helping y'all out, uh, trying to get y'all's going and stuff. So. Uh, Till next time, have a good one.